Hello again, everyone. I'm Tim Williams. 855 and 40 degrees on your Monday. Let's check in with Meg for a look at your forecast. Yeah, pretty gray out there. I think we could get a little bit of sunshine here or there, kind of few and far between, though. Low 40s, and then we'll keep this chance for some off and on showers in the forecast today. Pretty unsettled over the next few days. Let's send it over to Christy, though, for an update on the commute. Hi, Christy. Well, it's been one accident after another this morning, Meg, and now we have a new one coming in. This is southbound 795 at Owings Mills Boulevard. Cleanup continues for the other two crashes as well. Northbound 95 between 100 and 895, so 295 is going to be your alternate. That'll definitely save you a lot of time. Then we jump over to the other crash, Fort Smallwood at Brandon Shore Drive. Looking at the Beltway and the 95-895 split, you can see no problems at all. Average speed on 95 and the Beltway, 65 miles per hour average. That's your update, Tim. Christy, thank you. Travelers across the country faced a holiday full of flight delays and cancellations, and it all comes as airlines continue to scramble planes and readjust schedules tanked by COVID driven crew shortages. Since Friday, FlightAware.com reports more than 2,000 canceled U.S. flights. Major airlines like Delta and JetBlue are now calling on the CDC to shorten the isolation period for fully vaccinated people who test positive and recover, as it has done for healthcare workers. Thank you for joining us this morning. Maury is up next. We'll see you again at noon.